What's going on everybody? My name is Salem Sunni. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Here I focus on two things, faith and entrepreneurship. And my goal is to help individuals such as yourself be more motivated, discover your purpose and understand that you are God's very best. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. We're talking about financial literacy. So today I want to talk about three things that rich people do that poor people do not. Quick disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. These are just my personal opinion on things I've noticed while looking at society today. Make sure you consult somebody within your area that can give you legal and financial advice. So let's jump right into it. Number one thing that rich people do that poor people do not. Rich people invest in seeds while poor people invest in things. So what do I mean by that? Often enough, poor people, when you work, if you do have a job, when you work, you get a paycheck and you spend it. Let's say you wanna go drink with your buddies or you spend it on getting a new car, a bigger apartment, uh, buying that latest piece of shoes that came out or the latest fashion trend that comes out and you spend money on things that depreciate in value. So for example, uh, that new car, by the time you drive it off the lot, it has lost a big percentage of its value. It's no more worth what you bought it for. That piece of clothes that you put it on, it actually depreciates in value because you're wearing it. It doesn't bring value to you. It actually takes value away. It takes money away from you. So you're losing money. So poor people are investing in things. Contrary to that, the wealthy and the rich people invest in seeds. What are seeds? Seeds, like the word implies, are things that you plant that can produce and germinate more money. So rich people invest, for example, in businesses, in stocks, in real estate, cryptocurrency, whatever other means, opportunities in which they can put their money in and generate more money. That's one of the biggest difference between the poor and the rich. So they have they create businesses in which they can bring in more money. They have stocks and company that can pay them dividends and they can live out, out some of the portion of that to create some cash flow that is coming into them. So poor people invest in things that take money outside of their pocket, Rich people invest in things that brings money into their pocket. Number two, poor people keep their money stagnant while rich people keep their money constantly moving. So you definitely want to click this link where I talk about why rich people do not use the bank. When I talk about keeping your money stagnant, it's basically understanding the importance that inflation has on your money. One, you don't get that much percentage back in terms of doubling your money in terms of your, in terms of doubling your money or increasing the current money that you have in a bank account versus keeping it moving. What do you keep your money moving? You keep it moving by investing it in businesses in different places. That's what the rich do to keep their money moving while poor people keep their money constant stagnant to give you a plain example if you have put one million dollar into a bank account throughout one year you will lose between 20 to thirty thousand dollars just off inflation that is a crazy amount that you are willing to lose by keeping your money stagnant into a bank account i know that's crazy so here's another difference between the rich and the poor rich people do not invest in things that do not understand or do not invest in things that do not know what do I mean by that? I know you're probably thinking, oh, that's not true, Salem. Well, they, they have new opportunities to invest in things they maybe don't understand. Well, that is not true. Wealthy people invest in knowledge. So if they don't know a particular field or an arena, well, what they do is they invest in people they believe are confident enough in that particular arena and invest in them. That's why they invest in companies. That's why they invest in projects. They don't themselves invest in money that they do not know. Let me give you a plain example. A gentleman that I know was one in the financial industry. He was actually a hedge fund type of guy. He invested in different companies that were more in the tech industry. So whether apps or things like that, he invested. But he had a passion always for restaurants. He had a passion for food. He had a passion. He always thought about, you know, with him being like recognized on the Food Network for being this great chef, but you know, he wasn't that great of a cook himself. So he did some research locally to where he lived and find one restaurant owner that one exemplified the type of food that he liked and he preferred, but also had a great business model. And guess what he did? This gentleman went ahead and invested into that particular business. So he became one of their angel investors. By doing so, he was still able to enter the restaurants and food business without himself being part of that because that mean if he had to open a restaurant he had to learn about the restaurant industry he had to learn about the food and all the things that intricacies that come into that but trusting someone who already dedicated all their life to that guess what now he can invest with confidence because he is investing into someone that has the knowledge to do so on the contrary 
poor people often what they do is they try to understand everything themselves. So one year you were into, you wanted to do travel, you wanted to understand the travel industry, you spent some time over there. Now you completely want to shift and you want to enter nursing, you want to open your own nursing home, you have to relearn everything yourself. And then day, if that doesn't work, guess what? You decide to jump out of that, you want to enter real estate, so you want to understand everything yourself. Well, that's how often enough poor people end up failing. They try to enter and invest in things that they do not know themselves and they don't take the time to learn or they don't invest in people who've already dedicated all their life to into that particular industry and put the money in their hands. That's why you see some of the billionaires and wealthy people around the world continue to increase their income. It's not that they're diversifying into many industries, they're letting their money be diversified in different areas because they're investing in individuals who've dedicated their life in those niche areas. So I hope we can kind of learn from these three things and understand what are some of the things we can apply to our life as well. That's all for me. If this video was helpful to you, give this a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. I upload videos every single week. That's all for me. I'll see you guys next time. Remember, you're God's very best. Take care.